Hi there, my name is Carlos de Andrade. Very glad to be with you all here from PACT. How are you? Uh, I'm sending you this message from sunny Rio de Janeiro. It's about 100 degrees here, very humid, very nice. Feels like a sauna. Um, well, we're going to start this by telling you a little bit about our association. Uh, ABPI TV is the Brazilian Association for Independent TV Producers. Um, we are about 500 companies now, and um, it's growing every day. Uh, recently, we had a law here, a quota law, that was um, developed to incentive this um, this um, side of the business, okay? Because, you know, basically in Brazil, uh, you would have all the international cable channels and you would have the major TV networks would, who would produce in-house, everything in-house. They would not um, hire um, external help or buy uh, independent products. They would, they would, all, they would always uh, produce everything in-house. So the ABPI TV was created um, and lobbied the government in order to develop this, um, this quota law, basically. And the result is uh, from basically a desert of uh, independent producers, we now have about 4,500 registered uh, TV producers, being that within the association itself, you have 500 uh, established companies uh, throughout Brazil. Um, the association uh, has also promoted this beautiful event, that's the Rio Content Market. Um, I travel the world, I go to every single um, event that's available. ATF in Singapore just came from there. Uh, I've been to Halifax in uh, Nova Scotia. I've been to um, um, MIPCOM, MIPTV, NATPI, uh, AFM, everything. Um, and I must say that this is the best place for you to do business if you are producing for Brazilian channels with or co-producing with the Brazilian company because the channels need the content. They need, they have a quota, they have an obligation to, prom to put 3.5 hours per week of new independently produced material. Okay, so it's a very good quota. The opportunities for British companies here are endless. Uh, basically, uh, most of our companies here, well, we speak Portuguese, first of all. You guys speak English, which is basically the world language, and it's, it's the format language. Uh, if you go with English uh, anywhere in the world, you're well accepted. Portuguese, eh, not so much. Um, so uh, helping us producing in English would open endless uh, doors. Uh, a co-production a co-production treaty uh, between our countries is very um, welcome. Although we are taking a little bit too long to rectify this, um, I think that once it is in place, we will be able to really seize the moment and produce together uh, us um, acquiring a bit of your expertise, because you guys have been producing content forever, and um, from your side to us, uh, the opportunity of entering this, you know, huge market, which is Brazil. And we bring, we bring along countries like uh, Portugal, Angola, Mozambique, and all the Portuguese-speaking countries, which are many, actually, but uh, not so strong as far as uh, economics go. Um, opportunities also... Uh, are extensive because <clears throat> the audiovisual um, market is a way 
for we to display our country in your territory, in your country, in our territory. So the diplomatic uh, events that will um, emerge from this venture, you know, from our uh, co-productions, uh, are endless. Uh, and I think that uh, we could really make this happen big time. I am already exercising. I have a very good partner in um, in England. Uh, Nomadic Films is associated to Pact. Andrea Cleantos and Eva Cleva. And um, I think that um, from this we will bring uh, a few uh, examples of what we can do uh, for both of our countries. The way that I would like to work with British companies would be um, splitting the expertise, okay? I know my country, I know the intricacies of working here, the pitfalls, the good and the bad things that we have here, our handicaps and our uh, advantages, and in balancing this uh, with a good co-producer on the other side, I am pretty sure that we can achieve some fabulous uh, results. And uh, my goal is to be able to distribute this in Brazil, this, this, this Brazilian content, this Brazilian uh, certified content, which is very important um, for the quota system. It is very important that Brazil participates um, or that the program that we produce is recognized by Ancini, which is the central agency that basically rules the audiovisual uh, market in Brazil, and um, that they would certify this as a Brazilian content, Brazilian independent content, okay? Uh, but the ideal situation is that we could port the same uh, content to the British market, to, you know, and... and abroad, you know, take it uh, beyond our country's frontiers, you know. Uh, if we can go into Europe, if we can go into um, the United States, which I think it's the ultimate goal for any uh, audiovisual producer, but basically to uh, have the opportunity w with mixed expertises and um, with a theme that would cross borders that the products that uh, we would develop could uh, achieve this um, advent. What are the barriers to working in Brazil? Customs. This is the first barrier. Coming into the country is, with equipment is very complicated. So do not attempt to just try to bring something in to shoot here, because you might as well leave it at customs, you know. Um, Brazil has lots of equipment. Uh, our company here is fully verticalized. Uh, there are lots of rental companies here. But maybe if you're specific about something, let's say you're going to shoot an IMAX video here, then you might have to bring uh, uh, you know, specific equipment to Brazil. And that has to be taken care by a broker. Um, there is a real film commission, and there are commissions in other cities of Brazil, but the real film commission is very, very well prepared to uh, help, uh, or the companies that are uh, enlisted in a uh, real film commission, Visom is one of them, uh, we're very able to help in this temporary importation process. And that's how it should be done. Do not attempt to ship things to Brazil. Just, oh, let's ship this to Brazil. Uh, someone there is going to take care of it. That does not happen. Um, another barrier is time frames. Because although there is lots of financing here, uh, these finances take time to come to place. You know, uh, Brazil does, do, uh, does not work with tax rebates. Um, the tax that were collected by the government, these taxes are at the uh, payer's disposal. Or else, if the channel ha paid so much money f uh, 
to send money out of the country because you know of license, international licenses. These taxes go to a fund, and this fund is what f- uh, funds and finances uh, new material. Now, accessing these funds are, is extremely bureaucratic, and it takes time. Um, it is nice to plan in advance if you want to work in Brazil and uh, do work with someone from here because it will be very, it will, it will pay for itself. Do contact me in order to uh, get whatever help you guys need. Um, if you need to know about a specific co-production company that you guys want to be working with, if you want any more details, you know, feel free to, to write to me or to write to a BPI TV also our Our um, association is just fantastic. They've been doing a fantastic work. And I do incentive you all to um, come to Brazil, okay? Don't miss out on Rio Content Market. It's the best show on earth. All right, come on over.